Hello my lovelies, I do hope you're well. It's the Flame Face here providing you with the uh, vegan content because uh, who else is gonna do it? Don't believe, obviously. I hate when people say vegan food is boring and gross. Think again, sweetie. Yeah, just think about it for like five seconds, right? All that food that is out there, it's made of plants and it's delicious, right? <laughs> Why did I grab this? <laughs> Just because I'm so mad. Look at this. Do not ever speak ill of f***ing plants again, you donkey horse Apparently, on the 1st of October, it was World Vegetarian Day, and this is what you look like when you're a vegetarian. <laughs> Sorry, did that come out of my mouth? I wouldn't shade people for their journey. That's not what I would do. I wouldn't... That's not what I'd do. I wouldn't do it. Forget fillets, try fish heads and sperm instead. Many Brits have embraced nose to tail meat eating, yet still stick to fillets when it comes to fish. But what about liver, tongue and roe? Or even sperm? You know what? Head to toe, flesh eating, absolutely fine. But not eating the flesh of animals at all. Stretch too far. I'd rather eat the sperm of a fish. <laughs> oh. uh. I don't wanna live on this planet anymore. Oh my God, you could buy potatoes or vegan broccoli for 50p. Now, I personally prefer the non-vegan kind of broccoli. It's got this kind of like meatier texture and um, I, the, the vegan broccoli, it's similar, but it's just not the same thing, you know? It's just, it's like something trying to replicate something that just can't be because deep down, you know, those vegans definitely want the meaty broccoli. They just do and they just can't admit it to themselves. I'll stick to my meaty broccoli, thank you. And in fact, I'll eat three to undo the work of two vegans. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> just your usual everyday carnist logic. Yeah, people who ate animals are generally untrustworthy. So like uh, everyone who eats animals and dairy? Bruh, that's not how it works. What if they hurt the animals for food? There's a difference between killing for nutrition and pure hatred for animals, bud. How so? I would have loved to have seen the reply to this. Pretty sure it doesn't really matter to the animal why you killed them. I think it fundamentally matters that they're being tortured and then killed. I think that might be the issue that vegans have and the animals have. It might just be something to do with that. I just don't know. It could just be anything. I'm just shooting in the dark here. And thus, the carnivore diet was created. How so? What if we use 0% of our brain? <laughs> oh, the carny trolls are gonna be so salty in my comment section. I can't wait. It annoys me so much when people like, meat tastes good. It's like, well, actually, does it? <laughs> because you season it, then you cook it in oil, and then you season it some more with plants. Oil, typically, is made from plants, right? It's seasoning, plants, right? It's those things that taste nice. That's why it's really not that difficult to replicate some of the flesh products that we create. Why do vegans want to eat food that tastes like meat and cheese, but don't believe in eating it? It makes no sense. Does it really make no sense? Like when you think about it, like you're just thinking, mm, why would they possibly like want to do this? Mm, it just mm, doesn't make sense to me at all. I just can't even like fathom like one reason. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. People like the taste of meat and cheese, but don't like the environmental impact of animal cruelty. So if they can have the taste they know and love with a clean conscience, it's a win-win situation. What's so hard to understand? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We have someone who's got some sense. Thank you. Clearly someone who hasn't thought about what actually goes into these animal products, how they come to be and what needs to be done in order to get them on your plate. So just have a little think and it might make a little bit of sense. Just a little bit. Someone posted this uh, t-shirt, go vegan for every reason. And then someone like totally just debunked veganism. I might just quit veganism because of how brutal this response is. Then there will be no cows or sheep in the fields. The countryside will look empty. You know what, my dude, you're just so correct. It would look so empty. Therefore, exploiting these animals is completely justified. 
just can't even like just <laughs> like I'm, I'm like I'll, I might have fun sometimes doing this but like sometimes it just hurts <laughs> it just hurts every single supermarket in the UK seems to have its own brand of vegan sausage roll now which is awesome but like when are you gonna give me my like chicken and mushroom pie like when am I gonna get something that's just not a sausage roll don't get me wrong i have eaten two sausage rolls today <laughs> so i am a fan just like give me that you know chicken and mushroom pie like right now okay i'm channeling it and i just hope it works i have heard through the grapevine though that greg's are gonna apparently be uh trialing a vegan version of everything that they sell and they sell like a steak bake and a chicken and mushroom pie thing so or chicken mushroom slice, I don't know, it's been a while since I was a carnist. So, yeah, I'm just, oh, God, think of how mad Bears Morgan's gonna be. But if they just bring out a vegan version of everything, like, he's gonna get so sweaty. He's gonna be so sweaty, I love it, I can't wait. Thank you for joining me in this video for a little bit of vegan content, a little splash of it, just to keep you going, okay? Because I care about your well-being. I want you to be okay. Share this about with someone who you think would appreciate the vegan content, who could do with a bit of vegan supplementation. Anyway, I do hope you're well. And until next time, you know I'll see you soon.